All right, today we're going to learn how to use uh, block code, and I'll also show you the JavaScript uh, for anybody who's interested on uh, makecode.org with the micro bit editor. Today we're going to make snowflakes. Uh, so we're going to make a snowflake fall, uh, kind of like a snow globe on the micro bit. So if you haven't seen a micro bit before, this is what they look like over here. These are these are your micro bits, uh, LED lights, buttons, um, different pins that you can connect to. And then you're also able to do things like shake the micro bit uh, or change the direction it's facing. It has, a, it has a sensor in there that can keep all track of all those things. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the input. And since it's a snow globe, we're going to set it to shake. So when we shake our micro bit, this is, we're going to see our snowflake. Uh, so really easy blocks is to use the basic um, and the show LED blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making my snowflake. And you can make your snowflake look whatever like whatever you'd like your snowflake to look like. Um, snowflakes are hexagonal, so that means they typically have six sides. While they look different all over the place, um, your snowflake is going to look pretty much the six sides. There's only so much you can do with the... Uh, the five by five LED field that the micro bit has in terms of making a snowflake, but you can design it how you want. So make yourself a, whatever you think looks like the best snowflake. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. So this is the whole snowflake. So if the snowflake is falling, um, I'm going to go above it and we're just going to basically move everything up a row and eliminate the row before it. So at the top row now, I'm going to put this row that's here. So in this case, now I have one here, one here, one here. I'm going to move down the next row. Oops, yep. And then it's this. And then this one. And then there. I want to do the same thing again. But again, I'm going to move everything up a row. So I've got the three inner line here, there, there. I'm going to. Oops, Move everything up a row again. So you just kind of keep seeing the snowflake appear little by little until you end up with no snowflake at all at the very beginning. So we also need the snowflake to fall off of the screen. So we're going to bring that snowflake down and bring everything down one. Again, your snowflake might not look like mine. It might look a little different. So again, we'll just bring everything down another row. Until the snowflake completely falls off the screen. So I need just a couple more blocks on here. And then That should do it. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use a looping function, which is going to make our snowflake re function repeat. I'm going to stick everything inside of that. So I'm just going to make it repeat, bring that repeat block and stick everything in there. We want all of it in there, though, so that's not what we're going to do. Um, and if you're watching this all, all at once, you might want to start by putting your loop block in first. Um, but either way, it's still good. So now I've got the whole thing in there. I can set it to repeat as many times as I want. In this case, I'm just going to leave it at four. And so let's see what happens. This is the emulator, but I'll show you also how to download. So let's just check and see if it works. I'm going to click the shake button. There comes my snowflake. There goes my snowflake. Here comes some more snowflake. And you can see the cycle kind of continues all the way through. You also can, if you would like to, change it so that your snowflake is continuously on the screen but falling and and falling on and off at the same time. And the reason uh, I'm going to suggest you put a blank one at the end is because where it ends, you want it to end blank again, so you have a blank screen to stop with. You can set it up to snow as many times as you want. Uh, really easy if you want to get into the JavaScript end of this one, and you can also take a look at it for the first time if you're, if you're not used to it. But it's pretty simple. You get your, um, your input. 
So that's going to get your data from sensor, which would be the, um, the sensor that tells it it's shaking. You input uh, on gesture, and in there is your gesture shake. And you create your function of what you want it to do. Uh, in this case, you're setting the loop right here. So this part is the loop right here. And then basic is the type of block, show LEDs. That's exactly what it was called. And then your open parentheses. And then your field is just a series of five dots, five periods with spaces between, um, and five rows and five columns or so. You have five dots across, five rows of that. And then each time you want to show a snowflake being uh, a light lit, so as your snowflake falls, you put a number sign in or a hashtag symbol in uh, where the dots would be. So that's how you make your snowflake. You can see it all the way down. It's really, really simple. And then just make sure when you get to the end of your function and your loop, you close with your parentheses and your brackets uh, or else you're gonna have a code that won't work. So once you have everything there, um, you're gonna go over to this button here. So you can see I've already named my program uh, Snowflake. That's where you would name it here. You can either click save or you can click download. Both are okay, so I'm gonna click save. It's going to download the file for me. And you'll see it show up right down here. So what I'm gonna do, and this is the easiest way for me to make sure I find it, is I click a little arrow, I click show in folder. So it's gonna show me where it's at. So here's my Snowflake program that I just made. And I am gonna take that, and if you have your micro bit plugged into the USB in your computer, you'll see it uh, down here. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, you'll see it down here. Um, I'm going to take the Snowflake hex file. I'm going to drag it to the micro bit. And you'll know it's loading because one, this will pop up, and two, the little light, the little orange light on the back of your micro bit will be blinking. And then once it's loaded, you just have to do the gesture or shake the micro bit, and the Snowflake lights will light up and fall and follow your command. So that's it. That's the easy way to make a snowflake uh, using the LED micro bit. So basically a snow globe and uh, give it a try and see what you come up and share your results.